today we're going to take a look at the Kurt T Connector vehicle wiring harness with the four way flat trailer connector. Now, this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2013 and newer Ford Escape without the factory tow package. And on a custom fit part, I always like to recommend for you to go to our website, use our fit guide, put in your year and model vehicle, and it'll show you if this will work for your application. Now, this will provide a four way flat trailer connector to back of your vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. This is compatible with 5-pole, 6-pole, and 7-pole adapters that we do sell separately on our website. This whole harness connects very quickly and easily. Basically, you just locate your connection points, which are behind the tail lights at the rear of the vehicle. Plug in these T-connectors, one on each side, one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Ground your white wire, and then this black power wire you run to your vehicle's battery. <clears throat> This harness does include this powered tail light converter, which is this black box right here. And this connects directly to the battery, and that's to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. The converter itself is constructed using SMT technology, which is surface mount technology. Gives you more consistent, reliable performance. Helps maximize your trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat. And it'll ensure superior operation in rough road conditions. If you notice on the four-way, it does come with this integrated dust cap for other four-way. So what's nice is when you go to uh, if you're not plugged into your trailer, you can just put that cap over those terminals and it'll protect those terminals from the elements or from any damage. Now this whole harness is made in the USA. Few specs on it, the maximum amperage and the stop and turn light circuits is three amps per circuit. On the tail light circuit is six amps. Now it does come with everything shown here on the table. It comes with a nice set of detailed instructions that'll describe how to install it and even give you good pictures of where the connections are. <clears throat> But briefly, how this installs, again, what you'll do is go to the rear of the vehicle, gain access behind the taillights, and you'd start on the driver's side. Take this T-connector that has the red and yellow wire in it. That's for the driver's side. Unplug your harness, plug this into that. And then you'll go take the other T-connector that has this length of green wire. That's for your passenger side. You'll run this length of wire all the way over to the passenger side. Once you get over there, do the same thing. Plug that in behind the taillights. And then your converter, or your... The converter right here, this box, you do want to attach this to a good flat surface so it doesn't bounce around. So they do include this double face tape that you can attach it with. Attach it down so it doesn't move around. And then run your length of bonded wire with the four-way on it out the back towards the trailer. And then your two remaining wires is a white wire and a black wire. Now the white wire has an eyelet on it that connects to a good clean ground if there's one nearby. If there isn't, they do include this grounding screw that you can make your own ground. And then the last wire is the power wire. Again, this has to run to your vehicle's battery, so it needs to run to the front of the car. So you'll take, they include this length of wire and some butt connectors. So connect your power wire to one end of this length of wire, and then run this up to the front of the vehicle. Now, you don't want to connect this directly to the battery. You want to run it through the inline fuse holder. So take the other butt connector on this end, connect it to one side of the inline fuse holder, just like that. <coughs> And on the other side, you'll take this included eyelet connector, put it on, and this is what will connect to your battery. Once that's all connected, then just pop open the fuse holder. Take your included 15 amp fuse. Just push it into your fuse holder, just like that. Put your cap over that, and then your system's all ready to go, just like that. Now they do include some extra cable ties to take up any slack in the wiring. But that should do it for the review on the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with the 4-Way Flat Trailer Connector.